The new iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. Introduction. The Apple event is just over, and it is bigger than ever. With a bunch of incredible new devices that will be available for us users to enjoy. Apple started the event with announcements of two new great Apple watches, and then they shifted their focus to the star of the show, the new iPhone 15. After announcing the new iPhone 15 models, Apple then went on to announce the Pro models, and I have to say, they are looking better than ever. Everything you need to know. Performance. Apple used this event to launch its newest and most powerful ever chip on an iPhone, the A17 Chip Pro. For the first time ever, Apple launched a chip with the word Pro in its name, and it is well deserved. After years and years of waiting, Apple finally succeeded in launching a new chip with a move to 3 nanometers technology at last. This is one we have been waiting to get for a while, and it means a much faster iPhone with better energy usage as the chip is much more power efficient. The new chips contain as many as 19 billion transistors. It features a new 6-core CPU with two performance cores that are 10% faster than before. It also features four efficiency cores that are faster with three times the performance per watt when compared to the competition. The neural engine is twice as fast as before and it can process all your data without sending data to the cloud for more safety and faster performance. The GPU comes with the biggest redesign in the history of an Apple GPU according to Apple. It has a six core design with 20% faster performance and it is more energy efficient than ever. Apple improved mesh shading for better gaming with less power, and they worked heavily on improving ray tracing which means light reflecting and shadows in games, for example, will be better and more realistic and at a much higher FPS than ever possible before. Design I would not call the new design a massive change to the iPhone since it looks very similar to the older design, but I can say it is the biggest change to the iPhone in a while. The new iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max feature a new titanium case similar to the one on the Apple Watch Ultra. Apple claims it is incredibly strong and durable yet even lighter. The iPhone also features new contoured edges and the thinnest borders ever on an iPhone which means that the device itself is a bit smaller while the screen size remains the same. The case is made of grade 5 titanium which has even more strength than normal titanium. It is the same one that was used to make the Mars rover. It comes in four different colors, and for the first time in a while, the iPhone is more reparable than ever as Apple fitted it with a removable back. Apple also finally removed the mute switch that has been there since the first ever iPhone, and Apple replaced it with a new button that is customizable. You can still press and hold to silent, but you can also do other things as well. You can now use it to launch the camera, record voice, or connect it to a shortcut to do anything. It is named the Action Button. Apple also fitted the iPhone standby. This can now be used by turning the iPhone on the side and charging it to act as a nightstand and display useful information all night long. Camera The new iPhones are fitted with a 48MP camera like the iPhone 15, but it comes with a larger sensor than the iPhone 15 to make it even better. It has better low light for portraits and night mode. It can also process and merge multiple images together to create an image with the best lighting and details. It creates merged photos that are 24 MP for better light and details in a size that can be easily moved since 48 MP photos are going to take too much space and be difficult to send and receive. Apple also introduced next-generation portraits with better low-light performance and more details than ever. The iPhone Pro has a 3x telephoto camera while the Pro Max is fitted with the longest optical zoom yet with 5x optical zoom and a 25% larger sensor. The Pro Max has the largest aperture ever by Apple. It has a new camera with a tetraprism design, also known as a periscope camera, that enables longer focal length and creates really impressive photos. It has the best stabilization ever on iPhone with up to 10,000 micro adjustments per second. The new camera can even record directly to an external device making it easier to use as a main camera by professionals. Spatial videos can now be captured and shared on the new iPhone. This was a feature that Apple introduced with the Vision Pro in which it can record a 3D video that is lifelike. 
Now, you can capture the same video on the new iPhone which you can relive on the Apple Vision Pro. Connectivity All the new iPhones are fitted with USB-C connectors now, which means finally no more lightning cable. This means faster charging and data transfers, and it also means that you can now charge the iPhone with any cable that is lying around. The new connectors allow data transfers of up to 10 gigabytes per second. The new iPhone can now be even used to charge your AirPods, for example, by connecting the USB-C side of the cable to the iPhone and the lightning port side to the AirPods themselves, which is pretty cool. Price and date of availability. It costs $999 to buy the new iPhone Pro with 128GB of storage. The new Pro Max now costs $1,199 for the model with 256GB of storage since Apple removed the 128GB version from the Pro Max. The 256GB version still costs the same as last year, but you no longer can buy the 128GB on the iPhone Pro Max. It will be available in stores on September 22nd. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. <laughs>